Welcome to Soul Blazing. I'm Lisa Haysha. My guests today are the founders of Elevate Films, Mickey and Nadia Willis. Let's give it up for them. Hi. How are you guys? Really amazing, thank you. Thank you. So wonderful to have you here. I've been such a fan of your work, who you guys are. You are reinventing Hollywood and it so needs it. So you guys have been big in the business for a long time, writer, both of you writers, directors, and you decided to quit the way Hollywood was because you didn't like what it was doing to your soul. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, well, I, yes. for me, I really didn't have a choice. I, I had a, a, an experience. I was at the World Trade Center on 9-11, 2001, mm -hmm. and it just, it did something to me. I spent three days there um, aiding in the search and rescue efforts, and suddenly I came back to L.A., and, and a lot of the stuff that I was working on, I just couldn't do anymore. Something kind of like a snap to grid happened, and I couldn't sell the products that I was selling as a director. I couldn't um, um, demean the women in music videos. I had a pretty successful career as a mu music video director, and suddenly everything just seemed um, it was time to get serious. And, and so I actually left Hollywood for a year and a half and thought I was done and had to come back and reinvent myself and, and uh, the game that we were playing. So that's what, we've, what we're still working on today. Yes, so you moved out of Hollywood and yeah. you moved to Ojai mm -hmm. and you created Elevate Films, yeah. which is a company that really is geared towards families. Families and, and transformation, mm -hmm. really, human transformation, because there's, we do a lot of activism stuff too, mm -hmm. but we um, really, in a, in a response to everything that's going on in our world and realizing that true change comes from the inside out, we decided to focus on human transformation. So the, most of the work that we do is really around um, helping uh, or filming different modalities and events and anything that, that, that allows people to see a map to how, how to really unleash their greatness is what we've decided to focus our cameras on. And in the last couple of years, that's also um, uh, expanded into things like activism and politics, you know, really using we media. We have to do that today. We have to. It's, we don't yeah. have a choice today. Yeah. If we, <laughs> yeah. Our world has changed. Yeah, let's give a applause for that. Yeah, you. Yes. Can you share with us a couple of projects that you have worked on that have made a big change? Mm -hmm. Abs uh, that have made a big change. Well, yeah, the, the because you have so many followers. Huh? And yeah, we, we spent the last uh, a year or, or plus uh, working with stand the Standing Rock movement and the, and the protest and situation that was happening in North Dakota and South Dakota. And, and so it was really an amazing experience to, um, to be on the ground in a situation like that where the world's eye was there via the mainstream media and to really get a glimpse at how inaccurate the reporting was and how slanted it was based upon the agendas of the, of the individual corporations that were running the media show. And so we ended up with help from other activists and, and humanitarians bringing a busload of filmmakers to Standing Rock and saying, we are citizen journalists. This is our job. Let's go. So it was every, everything from, uh, thank you, from, Everything from a kid with a 20, uh, you know, 20 year old kid with a Facebook Live to really professional media crews that were there to film the veterans, to make sure that um, uh, we helped to provide drones so that the, the, the stuff that was happening on the other side of the protest lines we could actually see. So um, a lot of the drone pilots were heroes there because they're the ones that were able to show what was going on when they were saying they weren't using militarized you know, um, weapons or anything like that. The drones were catching all of that. And now there's a giant court case that's happening uh, that we're utilizing all the media that we captured to uh, have the charges dropped on the 850 water protectors that were there in peaceful protest and, and were all arrested just to make a, a statement to the world that we can never protest against big corporations. That's really what, what that game was mm. about. And so now we're, we're really focused on countering that um, misinformation. Oh, that's great. Thank you. What about you, Nadia? What's your part in this? How do you guys work together and what is it like working with your husband? Oh, wow. Well, you know, I think 
really, um, I am a creative partner as well as a supportive partner. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I also um, kind of hold down the the structure of Elevate as well as at home. You know, with mm -hmm. the kids and, but he's a super hands-on dad, um, and so we actually do both. You know, I'm a businesswoman and a mother, and he's a. He's a businessman and um, a father. And I think that's the new paradigm right now too, is that, um, you know, in the past, the men would go out and work and, and then the women would stay home and kind of just take care of the kids. And now it's just, it's a hybrid. You know, we, we're, we're, it's, um, we're sharing the responsibilities and it makes a more of a holistic family environment, which is amazing and powerful. And it's why our, our children are so, um, I would say they're really present because we are committed to being present with them as much as possible. So um, yeah, I yeah I support wherever I can. I produce and I um, you know we really try to bring our children into our our work life as well. Yes, what I love about <clears throat> it is that you are mentioning that you're you're a mother and a father and you're a mother and a father <laughs> that you don't want to just bring home the bacon and see your kids at night time and get tired and wake yeah. up in the morning and be maybe moody and getting your breakfast and out the door yeah. so you both do parenting you know what you, you, you work bring home money and mm -hmm. you stay at home and so I think that's beautiful and I want you to share the story about your video that went viral because mm -hmm. that's a really strong message of parenting especially for a father yeah, I had been creating little videos in, mostly in, in our car on mm -hmm. the way to school since our first child was born. He's now six years old. Mm -hmm. And we would just make these little videos because funny stuff always happened on the, on the way to school in the car. And one day we put a video out. It, it, it stemmed from my son. He got two identical presents on his fourth birthday, wanted to go return one and get something else. And when we went to our local toy store, he picked a mermaid uh, Barbie doll. And, right. I, and I said, okay, cool. And we got it for him and, and we went out to lunch and, and while we were eating, he was playing with it and I caught the eye of two, two um, ladies that were looking at him and pointing and frowning. And I thought, oh, it didn't even occur to me that that would be a controversial thing, you know? And, and so we got in the car and I made a quick little video um, just declaring my, both of our boys were in the car. So one was at the time Two. two and the other was mm -hmm. four and I just declared that I love them no matter what and I want them to choose their life and that life can be difficult and judgmental and whatever they grow up to choose that I'm gonna love them no matter what that is and I, I put that yeah. thank you, thank you. Yeah. not not thinking anything of it mm -hmm. and and we got home a couple hours later and I opened up the, my Facebook feed and and it had 300,000 views and I was like mm -hmm. what that that's got to be a glitch. There's mm -hmm. no way, but it had like 400 comments, and I thought, what is going on here? Next thing I know, it's translated into different languages. It's received over 100 million views at this point, and we ended up on a talk show circuit talking Based about on that video, on that one-minute mm -hmm. video, which changed me as a filmmaker because of course. you know we spend millions of dollars and years on making films, <laughs> hoping that we can get a million people to see it, and trying to make a movie that people yeah. will like, that people yeah. want to see, worrying about them instead yeah, of what's exactly. true coming from your now heart. Now we have a one-minute iPhone video that's reaching the world and starting a global dialogue, and and the, and really the the crux of the the what people wanted to discuss, which just hadn't been really in the in the you know the zeitgeist of our communication. Uh, at this stage of our evolution was the difference between molding a child in our likeness so we think you know we're supposed to tell them what they are and shape their lives and 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 you're going to be a doctor fine and this is how you think and this, this is, is how so many yeah. kids are raised um, instead of nurturing a child to bloom into whatever they're supposed to bloom into and supporting them to give them all the tools and the love and the emotional support and all of that for them to choose their path to be what they came here to be, which may be have nothing to do with what I think they should be or, or what mom thinks mm -hmm. she should, they should be. Mm -hmm. And so that was the, the, really the dialogue that, that was activated from that video, which was a really honor to be part of. Mm -hmm. Yes, think of all the therapy you're saving them later yeah. in life. Yeah. <laughs> well, we yeah. hope so. Hope you know, so. You, yeah. you, we, we joke about that because we're in this transformational you know, world and, and we, um, we always try to be as you know communicative and present with our children and you know I just feel like you can do your best and and you know maybe they're gonna go off and have to figure it out themselves I mean they will mm -hmm. and all we can do is guide them and love them and support them through it and 
you know, who knows? Who knows what will happen? But all we can do is our best and, um, and just really trust the process and, and love them as much as we can. And um, I think that they're, you know, so far they're doing really well. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. What are some of their issues? I mean, that you guys, what's like family dynamic issues that you come across that, do you share everything? Like even everything. the- Everything, yeah, we're pretty open book. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, like, it, uh, well, he's taken videos of, um, of them, just really intimate moments of my son saying, you know, daddy, when you're angry, do you still love me? And that he ca captured that on camera because as a three-year-old, they don't they don't know the, the really the difference or the distinction and so it was a great conversation to have with this little three-year-old to really and my six-year-old was listening to have them understand like it's okay people you know I can be angry we can be upset with each other but no matter what I'm gonna love you I'm gonna love you and nothing nothing will ever change that but just to have a communication about it about the emotions and and to have these little guys really um, understand emotional literacy I think that's what's missing a lot um, in adults even but you know if you if you start at a very very young age having that conversation and allowing them to express and talk about like you know this is what's up for me too we really talk about like you know this I'm really upset about this right now or I'm really frustrated right now I just need some space um, and just to have that dialogue with them is really powerful, we found. Uh, so you treat them like adults? I mean, yeah, yes, to, a, to yes. an extent. Like, yes. very, that they're smart little beings who actually, you know, understand. Yes. Um, but, of course, they're, they're children. So it's also having compassion for, for where they are. And that if they throw a fit, then, you know, they're just exactly. <laughs> having a moment. Yes. And there's a, a different perspective that, that we have, and I know a lot of other parents have, too. Um, Instead of it being, you know, that we view them as not knowing and we have to instill all the information in them, we really look at them like they come into the world actually remembering something that we've forgotten. Yes. And so we learn from them too. Absolutely. And, and when our you job listen, is to help. I yeah. think you have to listen. So many yeah. times mm -hmm. there's so much noise where you don't listen, you don't pay attention, and you miss all those little nuances. And they are teaching us so much. Mm -hmm. And so many parents miss it because they're busy. I'm busy, I'm busy, and just throw their kids to the side or get yeah. on the iPad or whatever, yeah. or watch TV, a screen, anything. Yeah. But you miss out on so much because they are teachers if you really want to dive into real parenting, mm -hmm. you know, instead of they're, uh, you know, a, a toy or they're a, just a being that's there. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between raising a child mm -hmm. and, you know, having a child. Yeah, I yeah. think we get confused because mm -hmm. we know that they, they, they don't yet know language yes. and a lot of things they don't know, so we think, well, that's across the board. But the, the, but the subtle things that they remember that we forgot, you know, like to be amazed by life, mm -hmm. you know, to look at things, to, to be present to things, to, to have fun, that's all they want to do. Our boys just want to have fun all day long. And we kind of forget that as adults, right? That our jobs should be fun, our yes, lives should be fun. Everything should be fun. Mm -hmm. Not every moment, yes. you, know, you know, there's reality doesn't allow that to happen. But, but if that's our goal that we're seeking, like let's make life fun. Yeah, and if, we're, if we don't even use, you know, like fun, it should be like, um, your life is meant to, you're supposed to create it, whatever you enjoy, whatever you do yeah. has the ups and downs. So yeah, there's not always fun, but you could create, mm -hmm. you know, at least, uh, you know, a, a safe place for you to explore. And even when it's not fun, mm -hmm. you're sitting in a learning instead yes. of a anger, resentment, and mm -hmm. not forgiving people and all that kind of well stuff. Said. It's got to really sink in. Yeah. So it's like a container. Mm -hmm. So and if you put your life in that, your whole life will run smoothly because you've got the boundaries. I'm about having fun, I'm about creating peace, I'm about creating connection or whatever that is. Mm -hmm. So when something happens, you could take those few minutes and go, oh, I'm not gonna react, I'm gonna think about this and then respond mm -hmm. when you're ready, what you were saying, yeah. give me a time out. I mean, I and they're do, so mm -hmm. powerful. Yeah, I do that with, with uh, my son on the way to school. I said, what do you, how do you wanna create your day today? Like, who do you wanna be today? Mm -hmm. And, you know, happy, creative, fun, and it's beautiful, and it, it's actually a reminder for me more than him. I'm like, okay, who do I want to be today? Yeah. How, how do I want to create my? How do I want to create exactly. my day? Take a note, like that's a good idea. Yeah, I'm yeah, to do that yeah. One. So Absolutely. it's really beautiful, and I think the key to really our relationship as a couple and as a family is presence. It really is presence. If we um, take the time, like you said, we live such busy lives. Uh, just there's so much going on in the world, and 
the importance of carving out that time, you know, to not just be, for me, just be a mother and being mothering, get, the, get them fed, right. get them to bed, like really engaging with them and looking into their eyes and saying, you know, how was your day? And just, you know, playing with them and, you know, having time for my husband, really carving that space where we look into each other's eyes. And the children see that, a loving mm -hmm. relationship because they're modeling that. Yeah. Yes. So what's next for you in the big picture with your work? What films are you working on? What projects are you doing? We're really excited to finally be making space for a project called Elevate Family. And so we're building a new platform where we will be able to have regular videos that we create. Because right now, up, up until this date, we just will make a video just spontaneously when we have time and when something occurs, but to actually make it part of our lives. Because one of the disconnects for me was um, we are very busy, but I made a vow to not miss a moment of my son's lives. So we're at, there are three and six right now, and right now in this formative years, they're changing so fast. So fast. I have, I have a, a job, a TV series that I'm directing that takes me out of the country every two months, and I'm gone for two weeks and then back. That's, those two weeks are really difficult for me because I come back and they're slightly different, and I've missed something, something they did for the first time or, or whatever it might be. So I'm, I'm really grateful that we're now creating more energy to do family projects together. So we'll be creating videos and the videos will be valuable and helpful and educational but they're all based on being fun and funny. Entertainment, yeah. And, and then we're gonna bring other families in, other mm -hmm. people who have kids that are raised or, new, or, or, or babies. Or, uh, so basically birth on up, we're gonna have this uh, platform that really brings the best of family to the people. Because we know as, as parents, um, when we want to allow our kids to have some screen time, there are very few outlets that offer a really safe selection of, of things to watch. You can't turn them loose on Facebook. Absolutely. You know. Um, <laughs> you, you can't, can't let them loose on, on anything. YouTube, <laughs> you, know, you can't turn YouTube, them loose on yes, these things. Like, you know, and, and, and so it's, we're going to create something that's almost like certified, you know, healthy, good stuff to watch. And we're working on that right now. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Thank you both for being here today. Thank I you. love so it. Much. Thank you, Nadia and Nikki Willis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.